Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2018. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and powerful sky. And for you in particular, it is an important sky. So what's so important? Well, it starts with Venus going retro in your sign. Now that is happening right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. But this is going to represent the beginning of an important introspection. It already has started actually since September when Venus went into shadow. You may wanna watch the September video again because that is where I talked about some of the more important elements of having a Venus go retro in your sign for your sign. And you may wanna also watch the Venus retrograde special horoscope that's on YouTube as well, because this really is going to be the dominant energy for you with Venus going retro in your sign. It becomes a powerful time of inner reflection and aligning with what it is that you truly do love and seeing yourself more deeply and understanding how it is that what you're doing and what you're thinking and the actions that you're taking are aligning you more with what it is that you love or not. And if they're not, why is that? And where is it that you can cultivate a greater sense of self-love and self-value? All very powerful lessons that are likely to stay with you for a very long time to come. Especially watch what is happening in the first week of the month, because not only will you be returning to it in some key way as we move further into the year, and of course I'll talk about it every step of the way, it is this moment that you do wanna watch the first week of October. Uh, once we get to the middle of December is when Venus will return here and you'll get that further clarity on the occurrences that take place at this time. But more importantly, I actually think that what happens in this first week of October is going to be the kind of thing that stands out to you for a very long time to come. Long after this year is over, you will reflect back on what was happening for you and what was happening in your life during not only this larger Venus retrograde season, but certainly during the first first part of October. So make sure that you are paying attention. As we move a little further into the month, right around the eighth of the month is when we're going to have a new moon. This new moon is in the sign just before yours, a particularly spiritual part of your sky. And it is important here as well to pay attention to your dreams and pay attention to what it might be that is stirring within your soul. This new moon is speaking with your ruling planet Pluto, which tells me that what is happening with you on a level of energy on a level of psyche is deeply personal. It's almost like it is shifting your energy in important ways. It is going to be next month that we have a new moon in your sign. That is going to be a powerful new beginning for you. Lots is happening next month. On the one hand, we've got that new moon in your sign. On the other hand, Jupiter will be leaving your sign under the light of that new moon. So this is the last full month that you're also going to have Jupiter in your sign. So it's important to pay attention and to use this energy well. It is this new moon this month that can represent karmic reward. However, given that connection with Pluto, the best strategy that you would have is to surrender to the process, surrender to the journey and know that even bigger and better is coming for you just a few weeks down the road. Now, as we move towards the later part of the month, right around the 24th, that is when we are going to have a full moon in your opposite sign. And if I seem excited about this for you, it's because I really am. This is a beautiful full moon. It has luck and quick actions and surprises associated with it. And it has the kind of change that can last, that can stay with you for a long time to come. This full moon, is happening hand in hand with Uranus and speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. It's also standing across the sky from Venus in your sign. And it is these days immediately following the full moon right to the end of the month that are going to be very filled with activity especially love and partnership related activity. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, this is one of the best omens that you are going to get, especially for this year for actually connecting with new people in a meaningful way. 
Yes, Venus is retrograde. Yes, if you watch the Venus retrograde uh, special on YouTube, you know that what you think you're getting might not necessarily be what it is that you're getting in the fullness of time, but that doesn't mean it can't be amazing and it can't even be better. It is this full moon that tells me that what does happen now, especially where it comes to matters of partnerships, of love, of meeting new people, whether romantically or business-wise, these are people who in some way help you to leap forward in your life and help you to feel that much more stable and secure and focused on your future. It is an enlivening time. There might be a little bit too much fun. There might be a little bit too much overdoing it, but there's also a lot of romantic energy here as well. And other things that are happening with the Venus retrograde season, which tell me that you've got lots of cosmic support for making a connection with someone new in a way that matters and that can impact your life in a positive way for a long time to come. And for those of you in an established bond, I feel like this is such beautiful energy, such hopeful energy for people in an established bond. It does suggest a time where there's a sense of emotional clarity. There's a sense of a renewed commitment and a, a strength of connection that the two of you are sharing. And there's a sense of this energy that you are having a greater appreciation of the person that you're with, but also how it is that change can happen within the relationship to make it that much stronger. On another level, this can just be some really good news from your partner. So whether it is that they are starting some new chapter and it means a closure to you, but it also brings a lot of excitement for the possibilities ahead for you as well. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot to love here, but I do love how you are really embarking on one of these peak moments as part of your journey towards greater love and greater wisdom as well. And that really is about Venus, but you add this full moon and it just amps up the energy that much more. It ensures that you are understanding yourself in relation to at least one other person. There is a real sense of clarity about yourself now and the future that you wish to know more clearly where it comes to matters of heart and partnership and love and that includes love for self as well. In fact, this is one of the high points, that full moon, one of the high points of an extended journey, the kind that will shape you in important ways and in beautiful ways now and for a long time to come. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.